build culture for the team? How do you keep 80% of the distributors happy? So culture is, for example, you have them using a Facebook group, create a culture, make, make it fun, right? People, um, how do you keep 80% of the distributor happy? Well, one of the ways to keep the distributor happy is to reward activity. We talked about that. Most 80%, do they get results? Do the 80% of people get results? They don't, right? We know, we know that they don't, they don't show up. They don't, they don't, they don't. So how do they keep them fulfilled? If you are only recognizing the people who are getting rewards and products and, and, and sales and top income earners, 80% of people, not, they're not going to be happy. Think about this. In uh, many leaders, they only reward the people. Now, it doesn't mean that, you know, when I say rewarding, you're spending time with the top earners. But you got to create a culture where 80% feel happy. Right? Now, if you're like hardcore all the time, hey, this is, I'm going to go for this, uh, you're only rewarding the people who actually do work, the 80% are going to be unfulfilled. How can you keep the other? So make it fun. Give them recognition. Most people don't get any type of recognition. Think about this. All right. Um, a gym. I mean, how many, some of you probably work out, exercise in the gym. Most gyms, there's three, basically three type of people that go to the gym, right? Three type of people. The first type of people are the people like 80% of the people. And they go to the gym uh, once a week once a month, and when they go to the gym, they do a little on the elliptical, they may do some weights or, or one class, and then they do get a uh, you know, smoothie drink, a drink, uh, they take a nice you know, bath, a spa, or a massage afterwards, and they talk to their friends, right? They may be on the biking and looking on the phones. They're not really pushing themselves that hard, right? Do we agree? Most people go to the gym. Now, 15% of the people in the gym they go maybe three times a week. For they go there, they have a routine, they work out, and they're not looking to be uh, like a, to compete in Mr. Universe to be like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mr. Universe. But they compete and they're in decent shape. They go, they go in and out. They go maybe for thirty minutes, forty-five an hour, go in there, have the exercise, and they go con- very religiously. Okay, now that's fifteen percent. Then five percent. So you, I want to break down, break down the numbers. So you have 80%, you have 15%, okay? So 80%, they do, they don't do much, right? They are like, they enjoy the gym. And then 15% go consistently. 5%, these are your hardcore. And you know these, these people in the gym, the hardcore people in the gym, they, what do they do? They, they want to be like Arnold Schwarzenegger. They want to be ripped. They take protein power, protein shakes. They're taking shakes while they're lifting weights. And they spend like three hours in the gym. They go to the gym seven days a week. One day working on the shoulders, shoulders only. Next day they're working on the calves. Next day they're working on the chest. They're working like workout fanatics. Three types of people. Right now, let me ask you, with these three types, which one keeps the gym in business? The 80%. Right? The gym doesn't just reward that now, the 5% hardcore, do they need a juice bar? Do they need like the sauna? Do they need that? They don't need that. They just need weights. And they're just going to work out like crazy. They don't need any, they don't need to talk. Actually, they don't even want to talk to you. They just want hardcore focus on working out. But a gym creates an environment where the 80% feel comfortable. That's why they have the smoothie bar, the juice bar. That's why they have kid care. That's why they, when I, at the gym I go to, they have a, they have a chess set in there, in the lounge. A card game. So if you're waiting, waiting for your friends to come, you can chit chat. They have like the fruit water, right, in there. Fruit infused water in there for the eighty percent, right? I'm like when I go to work out, I'm like the fifteen percent. I go three times a week, but I'm in and out. I'm not like the five percent, the hardcore. It's just like the network marketing. Eighty percent don't do much. Fifty percent do some. You, you're inside a member. You're the five percent. You're the hardcore. And leaders often, they reward only the hardcore. Okay, you don't reward. You have to create the environment where people feel comfortable. So the culture is how can you reward, very simple reward activity.